<laughs> I got him. Beast. <laughs> Good morning. Josh and I decided what you usually should do on a Sunday morning at five o'clock in the morning is get up, take the opportunity to go and do a bit of fishing. So we did. All we've done is we've come down to uh, come down to the river and we've walked along the river and we've been walking for quite a while. We've probably walked about three or four miles, nearly an hour before we even put a spinner in the water. Uh, but we just keep walking up and down the river, keep stopping doing some fishing but I've just left my fishing rod on the other side of the river over there so Josh has had to walk over the bridge and go and get it for me so uh, anyway good morning uh, so far we've not we've not been fishing much we've just been looking around we've managed to find uh, some nice areas which we've never fished before it's just so idyllic I'm trying to film there's some munt jacks and Josh was so close to one a minute ago and it just in the end it just sort of bolted and just can't get the camera out in time so I'm gonna try and film a munt jack if we can't catch any big fish so two small little perch lost a chub so we're going to carry on walking up this way we've only got literally about another hour of fishing but we just want to try and get a pike so come on let's go this way You got one? Yeah. Oh, I let go. Back of the net. Cool, tiny little jack. Not bad for a little morning spin. It's all right. Pretty enjoyable. I'm actually proving this morning to be the master of clearing the river up because I have now caught four, three or four massive willow tree branches and loads of reeds. So at least I'm getting them out of the way for Josh. We've um, not actually had any more. Josh has had a little jack, uh, but it's quite hard going this morning. There you go. Every single willow tree has just fell off when I got it here as well. So annoying. So we get back out there and uh, try and catch the bigger one so I can say I caught the big fish. Once again, I'm clearing up the river. 
uh, Josh just lost another little jack. Um, well, it was little, it was little jack. So what I'm going to do is just we're almost back up to the um, uh, the caravan park. So we're going to cross over the lock to the mill where the mill pool comes out and uh, have a shot down there. I had um, had my first pike on spinning for a long time when I got back into fishing back in. Oh, God, how long ago was it? 2013, 2014. I was just sitting right on the edge of the margin, right at the edge of the pool. And just as I about to lift the spinner out of the water, I just took it. Probably only made one happy, was it, really? Oh, no, you'd be surprised. It's really hard to judge by it. Um, but yeah, there's some chub in there as well, so hopefully. We're almost out of time now. I need to get back home for the kids, because um, Sunday morning, kids have to go rugby training, so I've got to keep the little ones at home. We're going to mosey on around the other side and have a little bash in there before we go. And hopefully I will catch something other than a tree. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Getting grass up here. You're a big one, huh? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Morning. No, 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 yeah, mate. Not the camera, but it's just in case. Just in case. I like your style, man. <laughs> well, luckily, this one shook the hook in the net, which is really good because then I don't have to unhook it. So, probably gonna be a bit lively. Oh, this one's a bit of a, a bit of a character. It's got a section of that out of its tail. It's got a big scar on its back, which I'll turn it around in a second. You can have a little look. go. Oh, there's that scar. So yeah, I'm not even going to guess size. Probably just going to get it straight back. Awesome. Well, we've had enough now. It's time to go home and do our daddy duties back at home. Wasn't as productive as we liked it to be this morning. Um, don't know why. I mean, there's fish in there, obviously. A few of the best places were taken up already by other people, which kind of ruined it a bit so um but at least we had the opportunity and we got out a couple of couple, three hours out mm. so um i think what we're going to do go home like i said do our family stuff and then plan the next trip which i think maybe towards the end of this month we're going to go and hire a boat on our local reservoir and hopefully do some big lure fishing for some big pike because there's some monster fish in there and a lot of trout so uh yeah thanks for watching we'll see you the next one bye god this hill's massive man Enough. <laughs> kind of stuck on the bridge. I need to get round this lake to get to the other side of the boat club. And the cows have decided to be right outside the bloody gate, innit?